normalization is the process where you, normalization and standardization really, are where you try to take your data coming into a model and adjust it so that no particular value is overwhelming significantly larger than the others. You're, you're basically mapping your input values into a different range than what they came into. Batch normalization is a process that does this somewhat automatically for neural networks, as opposed to using z-scores and range normalization and other things in a standard uh, sort of neural network. So we're going to start this by running this cell here that has a lot of really the things that I typically start with. I'm going to map Google Drive. I'm going to determine what sort of accelerator we're using. In this case, it's going to be CUDA, hopefully, if I didn't forget to turn on the GPU. And then we're going to include early stopping, which we saw previously in 3.4. You can look at it in 3.4, but early stopping is where as soon as the validation error is no longer improving and only training error is improving, you've started to overfit at that point. And you really want to then stop training at that point. It's as good as you're going to get with this particular parameter. So we'll begin by looking at batch normalization. Here I'm going to load in the data set and you'll see this is very similar to what we've been doing before. We're using my simple data set that has a variety of continuous and categorical values that you can use for examples of classification and regression. We are going to put the dummy variables in for, class of, for categoricals, and we're going to fill in missing values for the income. None of that is solved by batch normalization for you, but where we were using z-score for pre-processing, there we're not going to make use of, uh, of that because this sort of thing will be handled by the batch normalization. So I'm going to go ahead and run this part just so that it is going while I am explaining it. We're going to go through our usual folds, the five folds, so that we're testing this really across the whole data set. Each part of the data set gets a chance to be both training and validation. You can look at previous modules that, just, that take you through the process of k-fold cross-validation. And we're adding a batch normaliza normalizer at really two locations here. One, to get the input values coming in. So that's why we're that's where we're seeing all of them moved into similar ranges. And then you frequently will will put this in at multiple layers. And I am also putting it in at that, that second layer there. That's all it is really to adding batch normalization is putting it in at the various layers. It will learn the appropriate normalizations to do as you are training the neural network. We compile it for maximum efficiency. That was something that PyTorch 2.0 added. And since it's regression, we're going to be using a mean square error loss. We enter the training loop just like before. We are going to loop over the number of epochs and utilize early stopping as soon as we're done. Nothing changes in here. All of the batch normalization is simply being done by those additional normalizers that we put into the sequence that makes up the neural network. And then you can see it loops through and results in a root mean square error. Might not be a big enough data set to really see a vast improvement or any improvement, but this shows you the mechanics of putting in a batch normalizer. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe if you want to catch other videos from this course and give the video a like if this was useful to you. Thank you very much.